Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Isa, thank you for being here. Today I did this, my version of a festive holiday look. Um, really just concentrating on the lip area. So if you wanna see how I did this look, then just please keep on watching. Um, so I'm gonna start with primer. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Glotion because I can't not, especially in the winter. I find it just really gives my skin a lot of light and reflective and I actually have just been tending to use it on this half of my skin because um, I'm going to use a different primer on the other half and I don't want to just keep caking on more makeup than I have to. You know? So for the other half of my face I'm going to use the Tatcha Silk Canvas um, just on the bottom half of my face. A little bit of this stuff goes a very long way. So with that said I'm just going to take that much on my finger and rub it in the areas and just a little bit on my t-zone anyway so for foundation I'm going to be using the Dior backstage uh, face and body I know it looks a little a little dark but it'll it'll work um, I will I'm just gonna put it directly on my face which is pretty much how I use it and then I'm going to take a morphe m439 brush I'm going to pat it into my skin. I love this foundation. I think it's so beautiful. The finish is so nice. It's very thin, but it has full coverage. Um, and I actually wear this a lot, a lot, a lot, especially at night. I don't like anything that's really cakey, but I love something that gives full coverage, but also is very uh, thin. And this to me is like the definition of that. Cause it really does give you such a beautiful finish. A little bit on my forehead, not much. Just to color match it all. Uh, the only concealer I've been using lately, uh, this is Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. And I just picked up a new one. I just apply a tiny bit to my brush and then I paint it on in like a triangle kind of way. I just spread it out very thinly. And then I buff it not buff it, I pounce it <laughs> out with the beauty blender. I love this uh, concealer. I think it's one of the best I've ever used. It doesn't move like all day, it just doesn't move. I really am the biggest fan of this. But then I'm going to use a little bit of the Becca Aqua Luminous, not to complicate things, but I'm just gonna lighten up a tiny bit just here, um, just so I have a little bit of more dimension and I'm also going to prime my eyelids with this. So I'm going to use something that's discontinued and I'm really sorry, but I'm just going to set my eyes with it. I'm not going to use the whole thing. I just really, 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 really like the under eye setting powder in the Hourglass um, palette. This is the one here. I'm pretty sure you can get this. Let's see what it is. This is the finishing powder in soft light. Okay, so you can still buy it, um, just not in the palette. So I'm gonna set my under eyes with this and also over my eyes with this. Then I'm gonna take a tiny bit of these two, which is the soft light and number two is, number two is the finishing powder in filtered light. So I'm gonna mix soft light and filtered light here. And I'm just going to apply that to my cheek area where I'm going to apply bronzer. I'm going to use my go-to winter bronzer, which is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I love this stuff. It's just incredible. It's amazing, especially now that they have darker colors. And I'm going to use a Real Techniques buffing brush with this. Wait, no, a Real Techniques blush brush. Very subtle, but it has pigmentation also at the same time. I just really like it. I haven't used it in a long time actually. It's just nice for winter. You see? It gives me what I want without really overpowering everything else. However, I am wearing a red lip today, so I'm going to put a little bit more on because I always like a little bit more on my cheeks when I have red lip. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm going to use the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I think this is such a, such a stunning highlighter, especially on fair skin. Um, and you'll see, it gives a really, really, really pretty 
uh, soft, soft glow. Yeah, you can definitely see it's gorgeous. I'm gonna put it also above my brow bone and I'm just doing circular motions with my brush. This is in Morphe M461. It's basically a small dual fiber brush. I really like it for highlighting. I think it blends out the product nicely. Okay, so for eyes, I'm going to be using the Soft Glam Anastasia Beverly Hills palette because I think that this is more of a neutral palette and if you don't have this palette, you probably have something of the sort and therefore anyone can do this look. You don't need this palette. I'm not going to do something super, super structured. Um, I'm going to pretty much just do a very, very easy crease using um, Burnt Orange, which is this color here, Burnt Orange. I'm going to just pop this in my crease as a transition shade, but I'm not going to go crazy with it. I'm really just going to softly apply it so it has a shadow, but it's not like a very structured crease. I'm also going to run it underneath my eye very, very lightly just to finish off the eye. I think I'm going to put a little bit of sparkle on my eye, on my lid, but nothing crazy at all. I'm just going to do a little bit of a wash of this color uh, bronze, which is this gold here. I'm going to just lightly swipe that on my eye because I don't want it to be too crazy. Also just not too crazy in the first place. Sorry, I'm really hot. I have to take my robe off. <sighs> okay, so this is like a very simple look you can do even for a day. You don't have to just do this for an office party or a Christmas party. But I just think that if you want anything festive, kind of merits a little bit of a sparkle on the eye and then a red uh, L'Oreal Voluminous and um, Essence Lash, Pr Lash Princess. I'm not going to do my bottom lashes. I'm just going to do my top lashes, so I will be right back. Alright, so I've got my mascara on. You can actually just leave this face as is and just have a little bit of a nude lipstick on. I think that would be really pretty, but I'm going to do a red. Oh my god, this guy. Alright, so to finish up the look, I'm going to spray my face with... Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I really like this stuff a lot. Well, the smell of it. Okay, so before I put my lipstick on, I'm going to powder with Studio Fix, uh, Studio Fix powder because I really, really need my face to be just this part of my face to be really matte before I enjoy. <laughs> Lipstick on my face. <laughs> I'm going to um, use a eyeliner in my eye in my waterline. This is my NYX in Golden Bronze. So for lipstick today, I'm going to go with a classic red because I really, really do enjoy this. And it's going to be the Fenty Stun Lip Paint in Uncensored. Um, I've had this for a long time. I've definitely used this in a video once or twice, but ugh. It just is the best formula that you don't really feel like it's on your lips, but you really it's like, it's stunning. There's no way around it. It's just really stunning. The applicator is actually very user friendly. Uh, if you're in, if you feel like you're bad at putting on liquid lipsticks, this one is actually really, really easy. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry and I will be right back. I'm going to just use that same um, combo and just put that in that area. Do you see what that did? It kind of just diffused the crease that you could see. Then I'm going to also do a little bit of blush. For blush, I'm actually gonna use a bronzer. Um, which I normally do when I'm using a red lip. So I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs uh, Tantric Bronzer and I'm just going to put that on my cheeks as blush. 
I'm also going to contour my nose just a little bit. I think that always makes me feel more snatched. There we go, be with this. So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoy. This is definitely my favorite way to wear a red lip. I think that if you just kind of not put a lot on top and make the whole lip the focus, especially with this color, I think it's honestly my favorite red ever. Um, I think the main focus is my lip and just that little bit of sheen on the eyelid really kind of makes it Christmas, you know? a little bit. Anyway, I'm really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you have a great happy holidays. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are in the world and I will see you in my next video.